the Fish for the Future group has had a great start. We have great interest in, in the activities we're doing, and uh, uh, I'm sure that, that with uh, common good work, we're going to be able to achieve a good reform. It, it's not just that the fish landings are low today. They're non-existent. The only things that are being caught in any numbers in the Firth of Clyde now are prawns and scallops. And so we completely transform that ecosystem from something which was once highly productive into something which is now highly simplified and productive only for one or two species. But if we were to rebuild the fish stocks uh, uh, over, over time, then we would have a much larger capital stock in the sea, and we would get a much larger productivity from it in terms of what we could land, uh, even though the interest rate, uh, the, the productivity, is effectively the same. So having more fish in the sea makes excellent sense. And it also will lead the sea to be better able to cope with all of the different stresses that are out there. Without the reform, the, sp the prospects are grim, are really grim. I'm not exaggerating. They are really grim. In general terms, it's easy to see that if we don't act, we will lose one fish stock after the other, and this will have two major consequences. One is uh, that since nature doesn't like voids, other species will take their place. Environmental, economic, and social sustainability are equally important facets of the same issue. Without environmental sustainability, it will be impossible to ensure any economically profitable and socially viable future for the fishing sector. Small-scale fishing, I would say, is a very different world from industrial and sem semi-industrial scale fishing. We are ecologically minded. We have a different way of fishing economically. We are very, very different when it comes to our attitudes towards managing marine environments. We are different in terms of economic aspects as well. In the current economic crisis, this is something we must bear in mind, especially when thinking about the jobs provided in the sector. What we've seen happening over the last years I think could be easily demonstrated with a few simple lines. We've seen that the CFP being very centralized, uh, a very centralized decision-making process has led to a situation where fishermen don't really feel involved uh, in this policy. And I don't think we can blame just the fishermen for everything that's happening. It's the policy which has put us in a certain area. Many of them don't feel that their specific situation is recognized at all. McDonald's customers consume more than 100 million fiddle fish sandwiches each year, which is equal, equivalent to approximately 7,000 tons of fish per year. And this is, of course, only a part of what we are in our group is a, have as, as annual production. Sustainable fish stock are crucial for our business as, a, as well as, a, as for McDonald's. Without fish, no production, no product. It's as simple as that. Uh, and I believe that a sustainable production is not only beneficial for us, Esperson, but perhaps even more for the local fishermen and for the local community. So it's basically a win-win-win situation if we get the stocks back to, to sustainable levels. I just want to emphasize I represent the Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF. What we are talking here is a massive public policy failure where biodiversity is the victim. The biodiversity of the oceans covering 90% of the planet's surface is suffering enormously. And it's, it's happening on our watch. And this is as, as big as biodiversity challenge for the future of the planet as we can possibly imagine. Another reason to get this right. I believe that worldwide, we spend about $27 billion on uh, fisheries subsidies. And the weird thing is that um, I always believe that subsidies must have a positive effect. And somehow these uh, subsidies, this $27 million, billion uh, have a dramatic effect on the environment. And as was uh, explained today, also on uh, the social and economic dimensions of the whole sector. Um, 
that's why I'm always pleading for uh, getting rid of subsidies that have a negative effect on either biodiversity or the environment in general.